Something's on its way to you, your blessing, your gift, your union, um, an opportunity. Something's on its way to you. And light is going to be shed in darkness, in dark places. For those of you who the Lord has appointed you to a position, the counterfeits that are in that position are, are being removed so that you can take your rightful place. This also is a part of why the truth is being revealed. Again, a position, um, an opportunity, whether a connection, whether this is business, whether this is your, your spouse, a union, whatever the case may be. Hey family, it's Ray, and I'm back with another word. I pray that you guys have been blessed. And so um, go ahead and get into this word. So this word comes from a dream that I had on October 30th, 2023. And the title of this word is Wolves in Your Mints, Destruction for the Counterfeits. Take, take this word back to the Lord and test the spirit. Ask the Lord to confirm this word for you to give you specific details, insight, and instruction. Um, and yes, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get into this word. So in this dream, I saw a vision of a group of people seated in a room. It looked dark as if the lights were shut off compared to a well-lit room. This group of people were seated in chairs and the chairs were placed in the form of a circle. The point of view was zoomed into a specific girl and I didn't hear the background conversation that led up to this statement. I just heard this girl say that she herself is into witches and she proceeded to say that she thinks the person that they're discussing is trying to do a ritual against it, it and she mentioned a counterfeit. Now, there was a lady who was sitting next to her and after she said this, she, the lady slightly leaned towards her um, and whispered something to her. The way she leaned was like in an inconspicuous way. So she kind of leaned like this. She didn't turn to her. She didn't just outwardly like just start talking to her. She leaned like this and whispered something to her. And that was a dream. So some of the things that the Lord highlighted to me from his dream were first, the subject of the person who was speaking, the girl who was speaking. This is someone who I grew up in church with. And so he led me to look up her name. And the meaning of her name means I'm on my way. The next thing he led me to was counterfeit. So she mentioned a counterfeit. And so he let me look up the definition of counterfeit. We know what a counterfeit is, but he just let me look up the, the definition of counterfeit. And it means made an exact imitation of something valuable or important with the intention to deceive or defraud. A fraudulent imitation of something. And then the next one was the dark room. The dark room was significant of darkness being seated in darkness people who are doing things in secret behind closed doors things that are have that are things that are being concealed behind the scenes conversations that are being had behind the scenes the next was the the light or the spotlight that was on the person who was speaking the girl who was speaking so the room was dark but it's like there was a spotlight just on her specifically as she was speaking so this spotlight indicates revelation light being shed on something so um truth coming to light things that have been done in the dark coming to light again things that are being said planned behind the scenes coming to light so truth coming to light <laughs> revelation and things being revealed so the next one was the group like i said they were seated in the circle so this group could be a group as in something a group that you may be a part of this could also indicate like a close circle so people i mean who are in close proximity to you friends family some type of community a community that you're a part of and then also the fact that she seemed to be advising the person who she was talking to she was giving this person advice so this could be someone who you who you go to for advice whether it's like spiritual advice some type of spiritual leader or um, like in the church or this could even be people who you go to for advice and just again in a close circle a family or friend someone who you who you trust or you think that you can trust someone who you look to, who you look up to or someone yeah who you go to for advice and so those are the things that the lord highlighted to me concerning his dream and he also broke this down to me in three groups so this message can apply to three different groups of people you could fall into one group or more than one group however many and so the first group was someone in a position there's someone in position in the church as a leader who was actually a wolf in sheep's clothing. So a false prophet, a false teacher. They're into practices, beliefs, and things like that of the kingdom of darkness, but they place themselves deceptively as an angel of light in the church as a leader. And so this could be a prophet, this could be teachers, mentors, advisors, ministers, pastors, people in positions like that, a wolf in sheep's clothing. So this, this could apply to someone who, again, is a leader and they're presenting themselves to be a child of god <laughs> they're presenting themselves to be a worker of the holy spirit and in reality they're doing things behind the scenes in darkness dabbling into things within the kingdom of darkness and so there's a light being shed on that there was a light being shed on that like i said the girl said i'm into witches she said she's into witches and then she proceeded to um 
speak about what the, uh, somebody planning a ritual against another person. So the next one was someone or people in your close circle are practicing in darkness, advising you from their own beliefs, their flesh, their own heart posture, giving you bad advice intentionally, leading you astray, serving lies, hatred, discord, confusion, um, knowingly, but are deceiving you into thinking it's the truth. This could be their intentions towards you, as in essentially so that's essentially an attack towards you that, that them being used by the enemy to lead you astray to lead you down a different path the wrong path this could be something that the lord has for you whether it's a position whether it's some something with your gift that the lord is placing you for his glory for his purpose and the enemy trying to still kill and destroy your your destiny your calling your future so trying to instill other beliefs that pull you away from the Holy Spirit. They pull, they sending you down a different path. The things that they're teaching you or introducing to you, so they're deceiving you. That that's still an attack against you, or it could be like uh, against another person. But they're coming to you to influence you to be against this person. They are, yeah, sowing discord, lies, and things like that. And this person is innocent. This person is honest. Um, but but the person who is deceiving you, the person who is leading you, um, who is advising you, is actually the one working in iniquity, working in darkness. But they want to influence you to believe that they're right and this person they want you to be against. They want you to believe that they're wrong. And it's not the truth. It's the other way around. So either this is an attack against you, where this person is trying to influence other people against you or trying to influence you against the Lord, against you know to lead you straight from what the lord has for you um this could be a relationship again this could be in uh, an opportunity a position um and this could be an attack against you trying to influence other people against you so the third group was something is on its way to you and there is someone trying to stand in the way to cause delay or destruction of that gift again opportunity or connection their plans will be destroyed. The works of their hands, their evil deeds, will lead to their own destruction instead. So those are the three, three, the three groups that the Lord gave me concerning this dream. Now he also gave me three scriptures. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the first scripture. The first one is Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2. And it says, The people who walk in spiritual darkness will see a great light. Those who live in the dark land, the light will shine on them. Okay, so the next verse was Luke I mean, scripture was Luke 12, verses 1 through 3, and it says, In the meantime, after so many thousands of people had gathered, they were stepping on one another. Jesus began speaking, first of all, to his disciples, saying, Be continually on your guard against the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. But there is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor so hidden that it will not be made known. For that reason, whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the housetop. So this is also insight for you if the truth is being about to be revealed to you, or you're about to see light being shed on darkness and things like that. People who are in some type of position of leadership or whatever, whether it's in the church, whether it's in your personal life, in your, life, in your close circles. But this, this word is also for those who are doing it, those counterfeits who are who are doing the evil deed so this is i wouldn't even say this is a warning i would say this is a declaration of what is to come at this point for that reason whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the housetop in the last scripture was second peter chapter 2 verses 1 through 3 but in those days false prophets arose among the people just as there will be false teachers among you who will subtly introduce destructive hearsay, heresies, even deny the master who brought who bought them, bringing swift destruction on themselves. Many will follow their shameful ways, and because of them, the way of truth will be maligned. And in their greed, they will exploit you with false arguments and twisted doctrine. Their sentence of condemnation, which God has declared from a time long ago, is not idle, but is still in force, and their destruction and deepening misery is not asleep, but is on its way. Again, back to the girl. He led me to look up her the definition of her name, and it says, I'm on my way. So there's something that's on its way to you. And for those who try to stand in the way of it, uh, their destruction is also on its way. So there was a lot in here. Listen to it again if you need to. But test the spirit behind this word and take this word back to the Lord and ask the Lord to confirm this word for you. That this is a word from him and that this word applies to you in some way. And also to give you details concerning your situation. How this word applies to you. So just give him that 
um time to just speak to you concerning this word please share this word with anyone who you feel need to hear it don't forget to like comment and also subscribe to the channel if you're new here and hit the notification bell so that you notified of any future uploads when i post so i pray this word bless you guys and i pray this word is served as confirmation for those who it is for and i'll be back soon with another word